Gets the ball to the floor. Spring floor, high fly, clothesline. Trey Lamar has grounded Moxie Bowl. And Trey Lamar has done some high fly suicidal dives before. He's going to try it again. Tope Coelho over the top, all the way onto both individuals on the floor. This is one of our featured attractions, MAW No Limits Championship, to be decided between Maximo Suave and two challengers at once. A sudden death environment, first pinfall or submission decides it. For Maximo, he does not have to be pinned or submitted to lose the championship. So he's got to be very aware of his environment because he's in the ring against two very hungry and very successful future rising stars of the ring. Maximo Suave, his goal is, was to win the MAW No Limits Championship. He did that at MAW's All for One, One for All. He did that back in November. He defeated J-Rock to win that championship, the vacant championship, in a back and forth battle. He has developed one heck of a rivalry with J-Rock, but let truth be told that in the past, a lot of dissension between Maximo Suave and J-Rock has led to a lot of heated confrontations. Joe Alonso not in a hurry to lock it up with anybody as he has to do some wardrobe changes. But it was one of the most thrilling parts of our last event when Maximo was able to win the No Limits title. Maximo also a former MAW heavyweight champion, a veteran of the ring for 15 years. And he has had a lot of top tier opponents in an MAW ring in the past, including EC3 and a multitude of others. Maximo Suave has a very aggressive in ring style on the mat, on the run, and in the air. Excellent with his elbows and knees and chain wrestling. And right now, both Trey Lamar and Maximo Suave are sick and tired of Joe Alonso and his tactics. And now these two want to test their boundaries in an MAW ring tonight. Trey Lamar has been in some incredible matches in Maximum Assault Wrestling already. But tonight, he has an opportunity that he doesn't always obtain. A chance at the championship. Forget that Rana attempt. Maximo landed on his feet. Beautiful cartwheel to avoid the takedown. Wow, what agility by this Trey Lamar. He has so much impressive tumbling skill and hops. The two challengers are now going at the ring. If you can weaken and subdue one on the outside, you have a better chance of winning. You just gotta try to beat down one of the three opposition members in this, and you can improve your chances of winning. Alonzo knocked off of his feet as he took a fall on the outside. Flying attack denied. Alonzo moved out of the way. The action has moved towards the concession area. And check this out. Trey Lamar trying to grab at the colorful locks of hair of Joe Alonzo. Joe Alonzo strikes back. The crowd being urged to get out of the way of the action because it can get hot and intense at any moment. They have plans on trying to get rid of that. Trey Lamar avoids the chairs. Oh, flying elbow, and everybody crashed into the wall. Alonzo, oh wow. Look who interjected right there. Maximo Suave with a forearm stops the momentum. Joe Alonzo right there. Under the bottom rope, back inside of the ring goes Alonzo in this one. Triple threat situation. Now it's a very low shot, but the truth of the matter is, in this triple threat match, no countouts, no disqualifications. First individual to score a pinfall or submission will be declared the winner. Penning attempt by Alonzo. 
Alonso, but Moxie Mo powers out. Joe Alonso, very colorful, animated, thinks he's one of the best. Got a lot of confidence and a big ego. And he's been training in Lucha Libre with the likes of Ricky Marvin in Mexico City, Mexico, with high hopes and maximum soul wrestling. A generation of younger fans have been following this man's progress. The demeanor, the personality, the thrilling performances, the match of the night, candidates all across this country. And tonight, Joe Alonso could be no limit champion by the end of this night. A lot of skill and talent that Alonso has, but he doesn't have the experience of Maximo Suave. A lot of exciting matches and memorable situations in the past. And Alonzo could go from obscurity to championship to success very easily right here. Trey Lamar is still trying to recover on the outside. As Maximo starts to hit a string of strikes. Very compelling environment for an MEW No Limits Championship match. It's a battle of high flyers, great strikers, hard-hitting action, and more. An excellent matchup. And Maximo's against the odds, but he hits the high-flying knee, which wipes out Alonzo temporarily in this one. Alonzo does a lot of high-flying moves that are downright difficult, and he does them with ease. Alonzo, cheap shot, high count, distracts the champion. The other challenger, Trey Lamar, hits a pay smash and both Alonso and Maximo Suave are in trouble here but Trey Lamar was almost wiped out earlier in this match two of the three collide Alonso takes the fall to the floor springboard high fly clothesline Trey Lamar has grounded Maximo and Trey Lamar has done some high flying suicidal dives before he's gonna try it again the both individuals on the floor. Trey Lamar is a step above the rest tonight at MAW. What a death defying drop by this man. The talk of the town when this night's over might be Trey Lamar. Forever and for good. Wow, what a jumping flatline from the outside to the inside. But Maximo rolls to the outside of the ring. Alonso back in. Avoids the contact. Trey Lamar ducks. And he wants to steal the spotlight from Joe Alonso and use his energy to neutralize. What the heck? Dead belly driver on the edge of the ring. Trey Lamar's been wiped out. What a suicidal drop. All three are down on the floor. All three of these individuals want the glory. They want the honor, they want the money, the prizes, the sponsorships. All sensations in Lucha Libre and pro wrestling. And body attacks with and without the ropes, so lightning quick. They've had high caliber opponents, all three of these. And a lot of tough, tough matches in their past. But you're talking about some of the best combinations in the game. All three of these individuals possess them. A lot of double stomp varieties, deadly stomps, and Zaguri's head scissors and more. So many flying kicks and dives could arrive at any moment. Inside out, body attacks and more. But now that Lamar has been grounded after that Death Valley driver, he might be a non-factor for the rest of this match. Nice uppercut by the champion. But Alonso counters with a drop kick. And Maximo barely able to use the rope to maintain his balance. Backflip by Alonso. As he rolls out of the way, he hits a diamond cutter. Very well done by Alonso. One of the challengers, and Trey Lamar barely breaks it up. Very impressive action in this Triple Threat Championship match. The MAW No Limits Championship was built on the fact that there are no limits. Falcon's arrow bomb. He dropped him on his back and hand and neck. So close. Two and seven eights. The closest ball yet tonight. 
Most of the defense, most of the defenses in this no limits division are so challenging because the list of challengers are that impressive. Both men attempt strikes, but Maximo goes lower on Trey Lamar. Brain Buster Suplex! Trey Lamar has been stunned! Alonso at the last split second protects his chance of being a champion. But Maximo almost retained his title right there. Fast paced Lucha Libre environment with championship gold at stake. Alonso trying for a diving cutter again. Oh, there it is! He dropped him right there! The kneecap connected with the jaw! Maximo's been distracted. Maximo says he's calling out whoever that is. Wait a minute. Trey Lamar up the distraction. Headlock driver. Maximo's been wiped out. Trey Lamar is the new champion. What a shocker. You gotta see this. My man capitalized, there is your new MAW, No Limit Champion. Good luck, my man. Just proud. Jay Rock! You try to play my games, you just screwed me over. But the better man got the win today, so I'll see you down the road. Jay Rock, you want to give it up one time, Daddy? Well, I will see you, and I will be the one giving it up. What time, Daddy? Maximo Suave says they're not being against K-Rock.